okay in this uh, now we are going to see about for unit 5 synchronous motor already we have almost completed the unit 4 synchronous generator or alternator now we are going to switch over to synchronous motor both are same okay construction is synchronous motor and synchronous generator are same here which is stator which armature is stator which is rotor feel this rotor in synchronous generator we will move this thing by using some prime mover by using prime mover we will move this thing so this there will be flux will change so emf will be generated so we will extract this energy here that's ulta that's the thing is that we are giving electric energy here that's the thing we are giving three phase supply not single phase supply three phase supply to this thing to the armature okay so this will rotate okay this energy we will extract the rotating energy we are getting that is mechanical energy we are extracting we are giving to the load that is the main difference between the synchronous generator and synchronous motor uh, practically or theoretically even the synchronous generator can be used as a synchronous motor and vice versa we can use it in even our laboratory sometimes we will use a synchronous generator as motor depends upon the requirement okay so what is the main thing main thing is this stator roib and rotor so what is the working principle working principle is nothing but magnetic locking this working principle of an this thing is a magnetic locking here two magnets will be there this synchronous motor is best example for multiple excited system single ex excited system means only one armature or field will be excitation excitation means we will give electric supply that is we will convert electromagnet convert into electromagnet here both stator as well as rotor will convert to electromagnet so okay what we will see, we will check this thing when we give three phase supply to the stator what will happen just we are giving this is electric Electric energy is we are giving input and R Y B we are giving electric energy as an input to this stator. This won't rotate. What will happen? Just to go to the our first unit for our induction machine, induction motor. We are giving for the stator. What we are giving? We are giving three phase supply. What is happening? A rotating magnetic field is created. Yes, same same as that. When we give three phase supply to the stator R Y B, a rotating magnetic field will be created. The rotating magnetic field at speed will be that whether it is a stator is uh, physically rotating. No, stator will be stationary. in this thing a magnetic field will be created which is what the uh, magnitude 1.5 m times of the total flux will be the 1.5 m uh, 1.5 m total flux will be generated and the magnetic flux will rotate at a speed of synchronous speed okay the magnetic field will rotate at synchronous speed this will be created so when we give three phase supply to the stator a rotating magnetic field is created let us assume that this is stator so this stator north pole here north pole of the stator south pole of the stator this is revolving at what speed practically theoretically such so a physically it is not revolving only the magnetic field is revolving at what speed 1500 rpm sorry synchronous speed normally it is 1500 rpm it is a four pole measurement it is rotating at synchronous speed okay now we are going to place this this thing rotor that is rotor rotor here i have kept like this thing rotor this rotor is subjected to which thing which sub change in flux rather this change in flux this rotor is subject to change in flux but here i have not given any supply now if i give any supply to this thing i am giving dc supply to this thing if i give dc supply to the rotor what this also convert in into magnet this also convert into magnet so this will be north pole and this will be south pole and north so vice versa okay some sometimes this will be uh, let us assume that this is north pole and this south pole okay this electro this uh, rotor is subjected to what is the thing Ro change in flux that rotor is subjected to change in flux this is also rotor also and we are giving dc supply so what will happen due to what will happen this tries to rotate but because north pole north pole will oppose but when it becomes south pole otherwise other as vice versa because this is not rotating this is only rotating because here what speed this is rotating this north pole will come the here within fraction of within because that's what the speed it is synchronous speed it is revolving so this will become s s south and this will become n how much time this will become how much time in one minute how much time it will become because it will become frequency is 50 hertz means this will how much time it will become on north pole this will become 50 times here it will come north pole will come 50 times here so 100 times 150 times north pole will be there 50 times south pole will be there like this it is rotating this is subject to this is this is also magnet this is also magnet okay when 
both with this this is north pole and this pole both will couple each other but the thing due to over inertia because this is stationary this is rotating at synchronous speed this cannot magnetic couple is not possible magnetic couple is not possible so what we have to do okay we have to add an extra machine extra machine or extra machine or some extra things and i had to make this rotor to rotate at synchronous speed rotate at same synchronous speed when i make both magnetic rotate at synchronous speed the south pole and north pole will attract each other and magnetic couple will uh, uh, ha ha happen and similarly the south pole and north pole what will happen magnetic couple will act okay magnetic couple will happen so both will so what will both will ring it together okay what will happen now at the time what i can do i can remove this external motor external things i can remove now what the speed it is running now this is running at synchronous speed so at the time i can remove automatically even i remove the external force or external machine this will always rotate at synchronous speed because both are coupled with each other so this is the principle of operation so what do you think when we give three phase supply to the stator this stator is our this stator this is producing rotating magnetic field here this rotor is the rotor is not revolving we are giving dc supply and we are making to revolve it how we are going make to revolve it we are making external machines machine to rotate this thing so so this is the working so which is the working principle magnetic locking so from this we can come come, come to a conclusion that this is not self starting the number one this machine is not at all self starting okay another thing at what speed this will rotate this will always rotate at this speed that is magnetic due to magnetic locking this magnet will lock this rotor will rotate at only one speed which speed is called synchronous speed why because this rotating magnetic field is rotating at synchronous speed so this rotor also rotated at which speed synchronous point only it will rotate so the first point the stator is not self the rotor is not self this machine is not self starting this will rotate only at synchronous speed okay even though if you load the machine in our dc machines all those thing machines we have seen if we load the machine definitely the speed will reduce but in this machine speed won't reduce it will always run at synchronous speed or it won't rotate rotate only two things either it will rotate at synchronous speed or it won't rotate because any other rotate speed it cannot rotate because why because due to magnetic coupling it can rotate only at synchronous speed okay this is the working principle of an so okay this we this is rotating load we are taking here because we have to connect what is the use of the motor we have to couple some load so it is coupled with this slum load in generator primary is rotating so this rotating here due to reverse process so we are giving like so are there electric energy is generated here we are giving electric supply so synchronous motor this is the principle of working of a synchronous motor second one second topic is first one is working principle second tab is whether this is self starting or not no this is not self starting at all we have to provide what some starting method so how to do this thing there are four methods to make this induction motor to self starting what are the methods methods i will write down here so this is the working principle working principle means magnetic locking okay what is the second thing the second thing is nothing but starting so working principle i will remove the remove the first topic working principle second topic is starting of synchronous starting okay how can i start the machine number 1 using pony motors what is meant by pony pony means small small uh, induction motors induction motors using small induction motors second one as a screw gauge induction motor by using damper windings damper windings i will explain this thing damper windings third one as a slip spring induction motor fourth one using dc motor four methods are there okay first we will see dc motor first we will see using pony motor what is the meaning of pony motor using pony motor pony motor means small motor the small motor will couple with this rotor okay smaller motor will be coupled with rotor when we give dc ac ac supply to the stator a rotating magnetic field will be created sorry i have this rotating magnetic will field be created here north pole and this will be south pole let us assume rotate rotating magnetic field be created when this thing okay this rotor is how we are rotating by using a small induction motor we are coupling this induction motor to this thing to this thing i am coupling and i am making rotate this will be south pole and this will be rotate this i am rotating at what speed i am rotating i am going to rotate at synchronous speed after that what i have to go after that only once i make to rotate at synchronous speed by using external pony motor small motor i have to give dc supply once if i give dc supply this will become south pole and this will become north pole 
immediately that person solve at the time what will happen manti locking will automatically it locker what you particular instant it will wait for some, uh, some min min not minutes in seconds then it manti couple will automatically locker because both are rotating at what speed synchronous speed so automatically manti couple will locker so we have to remove the pony motor so that is the method of this is the simple method pony motors the second method is the method is that using damper windings by using damper windings is a very important method okay i will remove this thing by how we are using damper windings how we are doing this thing this is the field coil of the rotor this will be like this thing damper winding how it will be available means the damper winding will be fully it will be like this thing same coil field coil okay both will be coupled each other this and this will be coupling each other both are rotor this is rotor this is rotating both will be coupled so both will couple when this is rotating this will rotate when this is rotating this will rotate because both are coupled with each other okay when we give dc supply we are going not going to give any dc supply we are going to give ac supply to the stator when we give ac supply to the stator stator rotating magnetic field is created when rotating magnetic field is created we are not we are not at all going to give any supply dc supply to the rotor we are going to give only to we are not going to give any supply to the stator as well as this damper winding this winding is called damper winding damper winding is nothing but a copper coil which is short circuited like this thing fully it is short circuited it is nothing but our this actually i have shown only one winding there will be three windings will be there it will be a three phase okay the thing is that when we give see three phase supply rotating magnetic field will be created when rotating magnetic field will be created this rot this is subject this is also a type of rotor only this damper winding is subjected to change in flux due to as a screw gauge induction motor what is happening in the screw gauge induction motor the rotor will rotate as this rotor will rotate this not rotor this damper winding will rotate when damper winding rotates this also rotates at what speed this will rotate both will rotate at sub synchronous speed as a simple synchronous uh, sorry induction motor concept induction motor what is the rotor rotor is a uh, three copper coils will be there rotor is three copper say three star connector both will be short circuited similarly this is also short circuited here how emf is induced here current will pass through this thing so due to current what is happening here flux will be produced this will opposite cause then so it will rotate at what speed it will rotate less than synchronous speed same speed this damper winding also rotate as i what the principle is nothing but slipping index screw gauge induction motor okay the thing is that when this rotate automatically this also rotate okay now rotor is rot rotor is producing rotor is subjected to change in flux north pole and south pole by using rotating magnetic field but this stator is rotating at where rotor is rotating at sub synchronous speed so what is the difference of speed the difference of speed is very less for example rotating magnetic field will be 1500 rpm whereas the rotor speed rotor means this damper winding speed will be what is the speed it will be 1410 rpm or 1420 rpm so the difference is very less at the moment we have to give dc supply at the moment dc supply this will this rotor will convert into what is the magnet so easily mandy locking will occur because the difference of speed is very less see rotating speed is speed is rotating at 1500 rpm rotor is rotor is already rotated because both are coupled already rotated if it is initially it is stationary this is subject to change in flux if rotor is subject to change in uh, rotating magnetic field which is stationary means due to over inertia it cannot rotate but now the speed difference between the stator and the rotor is very less okay so already rotor is rotating yes uh, because of induction motor principle okay since very less this also starts rotating but rotating means magnetic couple will occur and immediately at a particular instant when we give dc supply at a particular instant magnetic couple will occur even our laboratory we are doing this method only magnetic couple will occur once magnetic couple occurs okay that's the thing magnetic couples occurs okay that's the thing what is the use of damper winding damper winding will be as it is now we have to think about the damper winding whether there will be some losses will happen or not no no losses will happen in the damper winding why because what is the change in flux Rot because both are coupled with each other both are rotating now rotating at what speed synchronous speed when both are rotating at synchronous speed rotating magnetic field also rotating at synchronous speed this damper winding also rotating at what speed synchronous speed what is the change in flux no change in flux so no change in flux means no, no emf will be produced no current will flow through this winding not like our induction motor induction motor there will be always change in flux change in emf will be there now there will be no nothing will be there so no glasses will occur in this this method so normally we will go for this method only but the main drawback of this method is the thing is that see our how it is starting it is starting by the method of what is screw gauge only screw gauge principle only we are going so we are it's starting so screw gauge motor what is the problem we had to go at the time of starting it will observe very heavy current so we need starters so here also we need starters we have to go for starters what are the starters either auto transformer starter or start data starter we 
have to use it. Okay, this is the second method. Okay, what is the third method? As a slippering induction motor. Nothing but here we are short circuiting in the machine itself, inside itself. There we will have to short circuit this thing outside the machine and by using slipperings and we have to we can add some we can add some resistance. Why means this normally this screw gauge induction motor will have low starting torque. To increase its starting torque, we are going for which motor? Slippering induction motor. This damper windings instead of this damper windings, these three windings will, we will take outside and we will use slip rings and we can add some resistance and we again we have to short circuit it like short circuit like short circuit only so here there will uh, at the time of starting it will the current will flow only through this thing okay this will rotate at what speed it will rotate subsequent speed it will rotate after that we will give supply same both the concepts are same this is as a screw gate this is as a slip ring the final is using dc motor what the difference between pony motor and dc motor means in the pony motor we will remove the motor after start, starting we will attach the motor in the rotor and we will remove it okay once it is attained the synchronous speed and man decouple occur we will remove it here we want now no need for removing here same thing instead of induction motor we are using a dc motor a yeah, dc motor is used and coupled with this rotor coupled with this rotor and we are making to rotor to run at which speed synchronous speed after magnetic coupling is occurring after magnetic couple occurred after magnetic couple occurred what we it is not necessary to remove the motor also all always attached with this rotor so both will rotate that motor also rotate so because motor is coupled with this rotor, when we give DC supply to the rotor, this are motor, mot DC motor, this will rotate, both will motor, rotate, we will make it to the rotor to run at which speed, synchronous speed. After that, what will happen? Magnetic locking will occur, so automatically this will run. So it, there is no need for DC supply, we can remove the DC motor. Instead of removing DC motor, we will use the DC motor now as a DC generator, because already it is coupled with the rotor, rotor is running due to rotating, due to rotating magnetic field, due to magnetic locking. So that motor, DC motor is act as a DC generator. So that DC generator will generate DC energy. That DC supply is given to this thing. So the one advantage. That's the thing. That is the thing. We are going for a DC motor. So these are the four methods of starting. So one thing is that synchronous motor working principle is magnetic locking. Okay. It is not at all self-starting. Either it will run at synchronous speed or not at all. These are the main characteristics of a synchronous motor. Okay. What are the working principle magnetic locking I have told? And what are the starting methods? It is not self-starting. Either, either run at synchronous speed or not at all. Only it won't run. So what we have been, some of the starting methods are required. So what are the methods? Only pony motor means extra motors. One is as a screw gauge induction motor. That is using damper windings. The damper winding will act as a rotor. Rotor that is our induction motor rotor, screw gauge rotor. So it will run, run at sub synchronous speed. After that, we have to give DC supply. So magnetic locking will occur. Okay, screw gauge and slippering induction motor, bit, same concept. The thing is that this damper winding is short circuited outside by using slip rings and using DC motor. DC motor is in the pony motor. We are removing motor from the rotor. Here always the motor will be available uh, attached with the rotor. Once magnetic locking occur, the rotor will start rotating. At the time DC motor also rotate. The DC motor will now acting as a DC generator. The DC generator extra supply can be given to this which thing, uh, which uh, damper, sorry, field coils. So these are the four methods. Okay.